All right, so I wasn't happy with the first video. I'm still gonna post both of them. So, just came back from KFC. Whew, that was spicy. Yeah, each time I come back from there and I wash my throat with their iced tea, I usually have my throat that hurts like hell. I have to cough and clear it out for like half an hour. <sighs> Let's hope it's not gonna be too windy. So I'm walking around my mall right now, finishing my march. I'm taking a walk. I'm bilingual, so I'm going to do it. <clears throat> so I was talking about zombie earlier. And how, how the masses are not ready. Nor will they ever be. That's just on my slight opinion. Maybe I could be wrong and people are more ready than I am. Well, I'm not any better than anyone else. I'm not rich. Most of the time I'm broke. I always save some money to eat at the restaurant. I probably spend $200 worth of a restaurant per week, per month. <clears throat> Boy, my nose is red. Seriously? Nah. It's just tired. <laughs> well, I'm not tired for say. Just tired of doing nothing. I didn't, I didn't believe that that was gonna happen so early. Because like I'm unemployed and I've probably for the last two months, September, October, I probably had, I would say, a good two weeks and a half off. Ooh, a took Somebody dropped his took And that's a nice one. Oh yeah, I'll keep that. <clears throat> I just find myself a took Yeah, just wash it and it's brand new. Look, it's fucking clean. Surprising how clean it is. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I'm not better than anyone when it comes to surviving. The only difference is I has I have a military background. I hate when people throw the garbage, leave their garbage on us everywhere. There's a garbage bin right there. Jesus Christ, people are such big. <clears throat> anyway, back to topic: survival. I've heard many times over that some people rather die at the moment than survive what's still gonna come. And if you see what the bunch of people in Walking Dead went through over seven years, well, it's seven years for us. At the end of the show, it was a year and a half. It's a... Uh, they've been through hell and back, starting by killing the living dead and then after that, killing each other's for survival. And uh, who wants to see that? Who wants to live through that? I don't know many people would love to, who would want to survive that. As disappointing as it would be, just look how people act when there's Black Friday after the holidays. And uh, sorry for the lighting. <laughs> Dark part of the mall. Uh, but an abandoned place of the mall, almost. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, how people act when shit hit the fan. So you've seen how most people act when they're uh, manifesting, just like uh, Black Lives Matters and Flint, Michigan, and all those other places where there was manifestation and riots. They're rioting. Well, the first, they're manifesting. They're doing manifestation um, about uh, police brutality, how black people are killed for no reason, and so on and so on. And <clears throat> afterward, they riot and they pillage everything. Just like a bunch of thief and crook. 
and vandals, you know, seriously. That's not the point. It's like if you were doing if you're doing a riot and you would manifest like you're discontent about something, don't go and destroy your local people business. That's just being fucking stupid. Seriously. Like here, if we were to manifest about police brutality and do a riot, I don't think we would go and break out every every business around here. We don't want that. That's not the business. The people who owns the business. That's not their problems. We we are gonna put our efforts on what the problem is. That's the problem in our day. <clears throat> well, that's a problem for like, as far as I can remember, people's priority. Either even the people in power, for as the regular people, the biggest problem is their priority. People don't have their priorities straight. They never have. They never will be. Just look at me. Well, I'm not a materialist person. I probably have all I need in my life. And I'm not seeking to buy more. <clears throat> I'm happy with little things. <clears throat> you don't see me going and trying to buy the next TV or a big sound system. All sorts of crap like this. I don't need that. Seriously, I don't need that. I've grown out of this. Sorry, my nose is running. I need a Kleenex. Give me a second. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, I can see my throat is gonna be aching for a while. <sighs> Sorry. Oh. And I'm not going to throw that Kleenex on the ground. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this. Seriously, the garbage bin is just fucking right there. <clears throat> Why you need to throw it on the ground? It's right here. Seriously. <clears throat> this is my town. I really care about my town. Because when it comes to people, <laughs> that's something else. Do I care about people in my town? <sighs> I wouldn't say I don't care. I don't want to see people die. But frankly, they're your average sheep. Every freaking one of them is in their own little reality, which is not the real reality. <clears throat> Just like in the Matrix, when uh, Morpheus gave Neo the, the pills, and he say, this is one reality, this is another reality. I need to zip up. I'm gonna put the Kleenex outside and put my gloves on because it's cold. <clears throat> yeah, like I was saying, when Morpheus told Neo that this is, take this and this is one reality and this is another reality and he takes the exit. Well, I have took that exit a long time ago. <clears throat> Plus I was trying to see that. I was trained and taught to see the big picture. Sorry, I'm just putting my gloves, cold outside. It's, uh, it's almost zero degrees Celsius. My ears are... My ears are cold. Uh. I'm gonna put this on like this because it's cold to my ear. All right, let's resume. <clears throat> this is um, this is something I talked about before: people and their reality. And uh, just the average little girl, teenage girl, or the average person, mid thirties, twenty-five to thirty-five years old, they think that the reality is what people think of them. For them, that is the biggest crisis in their life. They have to constantly monitor what they do to themselves. Uh, they have to follow trends. They have to look like what fashion is to be accepted. This is false. You don't need any shit to be accepted. If people can accept you for who you are, they're not your friends. Who cares about them? <clears throat> I did a cleanup of my life three years ago. I got rid of everyone I didn't need in my life. Everyone that was a toxic influence in my life, I got rid of them. And who stuck with me? My true friends. Those who accept me for who I am, with my flaws, and how I am. If they can't have said this, fine, just, I don't need you in my life. I don't need to look a certain way or to act a certain way to please you. I don't live to please you. You don't live to please anyone. Who? We got uh, an audience. And I bet he's listening to this music. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah.
yeah, a walker, a future walker. Anyway, like I say, I think this is one of the best suggestions I can give you. Don't live to please anyone. Just live for yourself, to be yourself, and accept yourself. These are the biggest thing I can tell you about. And don't fall for the reality that the mainstream world wants to make you believe. <clears throat> Facebook, Tumblr, the internet, selfies, fashion, cars, electronics, all this shit is useless in your life. It's not gonna help you survive when all the crap falls down. And believe me, it will. It will. Not today, maybe not tomorrow, but it will. It will fall down very soon. And your, li and your life. <clears throat> I'm not a doom and gloom sayer. I'm just a realistic person. And I've been studying this for a good part of my life. I've been preparing myself for this a good part of my life. And I'd rather, I'd rather live with knowing than living in blissful ignorance. Because I'm trying not to perpetuate that stupidity is rampant. I'm working really hard to eliminate that. Because it is. Stupidity is rampant. Unfortunately. I've been on YouTube for 10 years, more than 10 years now. And at one point I was making more videos. And at one point, when I had like close to 20,000 viewers, yeah, 20,000 20, viewers will get you about $300 a month when you're that big. And that's what before Google bought you, Yahoo. <clears throat> I don't know if one day I'll go back to this amount of viewers. What are you looking at? Ah, oh, you're learning to drive. <laughs> Welcome to the driver's world. Ah, oh, yeah, the joy of driving, of learning to drive. Yeah. Going to underground parking. There she blows. This is a, a level parking. Sorry. Like I see, <clears throat> my throat is full of salt. Anyway, <laughs> like my name, like Eminem says one time in his song, back to reality. Yeah, <sighs> reality is a bitch. Or a pig, whichever stands, whichever you stand on. Anyway, I'm up to 13 minutes. I'll, I'll stop this for now and I'll do another one tomorrow. See you guys later.